gonna tell you. I'm just gonna do a little jig. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, top of the morning to you, laddie. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, this video is about butter clam digging. And you might be thinking, clams? We just had a clam video. Remember, I'm going in order of my hunts and fishing trips. And I went from razor to turkey and now it's butter clam. So enjoy this video. Boom! Doug life! All right. Here we are back at Alice Spit. I have, this is a beautiful deception pass. It's almost identical day as last year. I'm smarter this year. I brought extra buckets. I brought my, um, brought my waders. Uh, I brought my daughter. I can't afford her name, image, likeness fee, which is NIL. She's too pricey for me, so she doesn't, all you get to see is her hand. So we're gonna call her the Lorax. Okay, it's not really a exact science to pick your spot. So you go where the people are, and this is a little bit elevated on a little bit of a hill here. So it's, the water's not gonna come in as fast. So the hardest part about this is to dig off the first three inches of rocks. And so you don't wanna to have to go through that process and then, and then you're in water, which is not fun. So I'm gonna pick right here, this area right there, okay? So you notice I'm about 30 feet. So that's less than what I told you, but it's on an incline. So the water's coming up slower, okay? So we're gonna dig right here. Okay, so step two is I'm gonna pick an area that's far enough away from the oncoming tide and I know that this is not going to be, I don't have to dig for half an hour to get these rocks out of here. Uh, the further up, if you point the camera that way, if I'm, if I'm up there, I'm digging a, a one foot uh, deep uh, circle. The circle is about like a stop sign. So three feet, one yard by, and so I only, I should only have to go about three or four inches. So I'm just going to get these rocks out of here. And that's my next step. So what happens is you get away from this rock to where it's more mud. There's going to be rocks the entire time, but what you get. What you see it yeah so it's got i saw its tongue definitely try to pe peel it apart because this does not count as picking a clam okay if it's dead but if it was damaged you have to keep it and count it you can't any live clam counts as one of your total you can't just pick and choose because as soon as you pull it out the chance of it burling bur boring back into where it was and living are um, almost nil. So it's gonna be exposed. You have the, you have it just drying up in the sun. You have seagulls picking apart. So legally, if you dig a clam, you have to keep it. Okay, I'm almost done with this hole. So that was step two, get your hole. You don't have to. Okay, so step three is to get everything situated with your gloves. I like to use a little bit thicker because not because uh, it chews your hands up a little bit, but they're just more durable. So they're not the one, uh, Caitlin, hold your hand out. Those, your typical gardening gloves are okay. Uh, but they're going to, if you do this probably more than an hour, they're going to rip. So you have to have something pretty durable. This is probably the most important thing you can get is a knee pad. Otherwise your knees are going to be trashed. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm pretty close to the water, if you notice, and I still don't have an awesome little puddle. So the process, step three, is just doing the actual digging. So I'm just going to dig with my hands now. It's a lot easier than this. 
Okay, it's a lot easier than this. That's Keep why. on the crab. So, uh, I'm just gonna dig, like right here. It might be dead, I don't know. Uh, once you get to a clam, pretend you're like it's a dinosaur. So dig around the outside of it, instead of grab it, because you could break it. So this is a little baby, but I have to keep him. See, you can tell if he's squirting, uh, it's alive. So I'm gonna dig for a while. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so step four. And by the way, we just met a nice couple who are going home to look on Doug Life uh, to learn what to do with them after clamming. So how exciting is that? Um, so step four is you have one bucket to get the sand out and then you have kind of your finished bucket to uh, transport home. Because you have no idea how much sand these things have them. It's crazy. So, uh, and there's a higher process, uh, the high, high, higher probability of these things surviving, doing this, and then using the Puget Sound water or the salt water, seawater. Okay, Caitlin's first time. First time, here we go. She's learned from the master. See if she can find one. Ooh, what do you got there? Oh! That was a good one. I know it was. Whew. So, next week, you get to learn from my wife, who, by the way, 100% Irish, and from Boston, to learn how to make traditional homemade clam chowder enjoy that video next week but right now enjoy some bonus video boom okay so just officially i'm going with my younger daughter who's a huge animal rights activist so clams are about the only thing that she will go with me and just to let you know who i'm dealing with her first clam she found happened to be dead but Clammy, who has already got a name, is getting a bath and is going to go home and she's going to prep it for her aquarium and it's all cute. That's who I'm dealing with today. So you can see why I don't bring her turkey hunting. Okay, I will put Clammy right here for his bath, okay? I want to point out... <gasps> yeah. This is a rock crab. Uh, unfortunately, I will not see him in a month because his shell's cracked and he'll be dead within the day. So we'll put him over there. So, are you still filming, Clammy? So, I wanna let you know, this is what I did not do last time. I did not wear waders, and so I couldn't do this. And if you notice around here, very few people have waders. So bring waders, go out and get ocean water. So I have to move away from this area. Why do you ask? Well, I dropped my phone in here and I kicked up all the silt and stuff. So what you want to do is go out far enough where you get some clean water. So quit, quit filming clammy. So um, you need someone kind of burly to do this part, so Corey couldn't do this one. But you need something with, with you need to fill up your buckets first, because I'll show you my process. So step one, get ocean water. Thank you. 